Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm covering um, a breastfeeding journey update. So if you've been following my journey, um, when I left the hospital, it was eight days after having the boys. I was away from them um, for four days. I was unable to breast pump at the hospital during those days because I was very, very sick. And so um, I had a kind of a rough start to my breastfeeding journey. I was starting at about uh, five milliliters per side to 10 milliliters maximum when I was pumping. Now um, I've increased that significantly and I had uh, met with a lactation consultant. She was the third person that I met with. I will link her stuff below if you are from Arizona and you are having trouble. Um, I think it's worth meeting with someone who kind of went through the same stuff you did. She did a lot of things that the other consultants did not. And so um, we've been able to really like increase the amount of milk that we are able to produce for the boys. So today I'm going to cover my top five things I'm doing to increase uh, my uh, milk output and how it's been working. Um, a lot of this is either advice that I've gotten from the uh, lactation consultant herself or things that I've been following other twin moms who are trying to pump enough to feed both babies. Um, the first thing that I will say has uh, changed how much output is happening when I pump is comfort. So um, I was really, really stressed in the beginning because I wasn't making a lot of milk and I was constantly just like super tense. I read um, online that tension really stops the flow of milk. And so a lot of nursing moms or pumping moms will look at pictures of their baby to relax them while pumping or if they can't like be right there with the baby if they're pumping at work or in the car. Um, it releases oxytocin and so it kind of relaxes your body. It makes you feel good. Um, I find that doing that uh, has really helped me and I'm using this um, breast pump the Spectra, I just want to start by saying I switched to the Spectra uh, breast pump uh, because it is a pressure um, pump versus a suction pump. It's made the world of a difference, but this is also portable. So one of the things that has increased my comfort is that I don't have to be plugged into like an outlet. I can move around. I can sit in different areas where I normally wouldn't be able to sit because the pump couldn't reach. So the rechargeable battery on this is amazing. Um, it has allowed me to pump in more comfortable places so I can take this where I'm most comfortable and go. I've also, for comfort, started listening to music. So I always have my headphones with me now. I've started listening to music, podcasts, watching uh, YouTube videos of other moms talking about pumping and exclusively pumping. Um, even though the boys aren't exclusively pumping, they are nursing uh, a couple times a day when they feel up to it. They're still preemies and very small, so they fall asleep really quickly. So they do not nurse till they're full. They usually fall asleep before that. Those are what I'm doing to stay comfortable. I also have my twin Z nursing pillow. You can see behind me, it's got this little like back rest and I have just been chilling in this when I pump. It's obviously for when I nurse the boys and they can be here, but I found that the more comfortable I am nursing, the more milk that comes out. So I've been using this awesome pillow as well. So just finding a comfortable spot, um, looking at pictures of the boys or watching um, the like videos or listening to relaxing music. That has really helped. I also like wear comfortable robes so I stay warm. Sometimes I'm using a heating pad on my chest to, to be warmer as well. So all those things have really uh, lent to better comfort while pumping and not being like as stressed out. And I, I definitely think it has helped. Okay, the second thing that I've been doing to um, increase the milk output is I have been using um, supplements, which I had covered the first three in the last video, alfalfa, moringa, and goat's roux. Um, I've also just added this, and I'm not really sure. I don't want to like botch this. Shodavari, this is what it is though. Um, this I am using, uh, this is Amazing India Organic. I got this on Amazon. You can also probably find it at a health food store. The difference between how I was doing supplements last time when I gave you the update versus this time is last time I was just going with what was on the bottle. And then I actually reached out to my lactation consultant. And I said, I think you told me something different. And she had. And so baby brain, I was just using whatever the bottle said. I have now been adjusted to the 
dosage that works for my body and my needs. And I think that's made a big difference is taking the right amount of the supplements um, for the, the issues that I'm having of the low milk supply. Um, I'm not going to put the out of the um, amounts here because I don't know what your lactation consultant would recommend for you. And it's tailored to me. So um, just know that if you were to go on the supplements, the herbs, uh, they would be tailored to you so that uh, you could produce more milk. Um, okay. Sorry, I have to like check my list because my brain is like seriously baby brain still. Um, okay. So the next, the third thing I'm doing is uh, massage before I pump and during. So these are both, um, I, before I put the pump on, just quick 30 seconds to one minute, I'm massaging all the way around each breast with my hand. Then I'm putting the pump on, and while I'm pumping, probably about halfway through, I also do another massage all the way around the breast with my hands. Again, takes 30 seconds to a minute, doesn't add any more time to my pumping sessions. I'm pumping between 15 and 20 minutes um, each time. And I honestly have seen the biggest difference in doing this. Maybe, okay, I take that back. Probably equally the biggest difference between uh, massaging and then the next thing. So the massage is gentle. You're not like, like squishing really hard. You don't want to hurt your breast tissue. You're just doing enough to like massage the glands so that they are activating and you're um, being able to empty. When you're pumping, you're not getting as much massage from the baby's like sucking motion. So that's why it helps when you're ex uh, either exclusively pumping or mostly pumping to do a hand massage so that your um, it's helped empty the breast more. Then the fourth thing is emptying the breast as much as possible. That kind of plays into why I started doing the massage but I did read that emptying the breast is uh, incredibly helpful because it tells the body that you need more. And so part of that is pumping past when you have, where I feel like I'm done, I pump like another minute. I'm also massaging to make sure I'm getting the most out as possible. And then I thought that when the boys were nursing that they were getting, they were emptying the breast, but they weren't because they're falling asleep. And so uh, after I nurse, I also just put the breast pump on really quickly to help empty the breast again. So just making sure you're going to empty is really essential because that tells your body that it to make more if you're trying to increase your supply. Because if you only go to like right till it's almost empty um, or it's just like, it's still flowing, but you're like, well, I'm done pumping. Your body's like, well, I made enough so it won't increase the output. So that's been really helpful. And I think actually that's probably been the number one thing that has changed how much milk I've been producing. The last thing that I'm going to say is the power hour. That's my fifth tip and kind of trick that I've been using in my uh, breast feeding journey to create more milk is uh, I am doing a power hour every couple of days. What that is, is it's one hour of you pumping. You're not worrying about the output because worrying about the output actually like goes back to being stressed when you're stressing out, like you don't like let out as much milk. So don't worry about how much milk you're going to get. Don't look at the bottles. Don't watch it. Like it, it makes you more tense, but you're pumping for 20 minutes, turning off the pump for 10 minutes, pumping for 10 minutes, turning off the pump for 10 minutes and then pumping for 10 more minutes. It equals one hour with about 40 minutes of pumping. So 20, 10 and 10 with the 10 minute breaks in between this empties the breast completely and keeps it empty for over an hour. It mimics a baby uh, cluster feeding. And since the boys won't feed often back to back, they will feed and then they'll be too fussy and won't latch maybe the next feeding. Um, I don't always get a chance to have them have them cluster feed to produce, to tell my body to make more milk. So in doing that, that empties the breast, gives you a rest. Then you're starting to pump again when the breast is still mostly empty. And then the last one, you're really, really empty, but you're telling your body that it needs more uh, milk as if a baby who was cluster feeding would tell your body, hey, there's nothing here, but I'm, I'm still sucking and I still need more milk. That has made a huge difference. But more regularly, I don't do that every day. That's a very big time commitment when you have two babies. So that's not an everyday thing for us, but I do find that it's helped the following day do a little boost 
So I would say like maybe twice a week I've been doing it and I find that I see like a little influx of milk the next two days. Um, other people say that it can take up to a week. So if you do that, don't be discouraged. I also really recommend, like I said, being super comfortable for this, putting on a movie you love and enjoy. Don't watch it. You're not doing this for like the maximum milk output. You're doing this to signal to your body to make more milk. So definitely being relaxed has helped. Taking the right amount of supplements has helped. The massage to help empty the breast, which also leads into completely emptying the breast and the power hour to like really drive that home. Um, I think that has really helped my milk supply. Um, the massage was a recommendation from my lactation consultant. Emptying the breast and doing the power hour was just things I had seen other twin moms doing to up their milk supply. And I'm so happy to say that in this update, I went from about four or uh, five to seven to maximum 10 milliliters aside every pump in 15 minutes to an entire ounce. So I'm pumping one ounce on each, each side and I'm pumping that pretty consistently, even in the evening when your supply tends to drop a little bit lower. Um, in the morning, I can get a little over an ounce on each side, and in the evening, I get just a little under an ounce. So overall, I'm really happy. I'm pumping, I would say approximately, let's see if I'm pumping eight, eight to nine, eight times a day um, outside of nursing, or I, I'm getting about 12 to 16 ounces throughout the day to give the boys. So that's super amazing. Obviously, it's not quite up to what I need for the twins. They're eating about 60 milliliters, which is two ounces per uh, feed. And so we're still supplementing, but I'm really hopeful and fingers crossed that uh, with the this steadily going up that I will continue and I'm hoping to get to four to five milliliters, or I mean four to five um, ounces per session in total. And so uh, I will keep you updated. I'm gonna continue doing that. If there's any changes after that, either that my lactation consultant makes or I find works better, I will um, share them with you. But I'm hoping that the next time we talk that I'm up to at least three ounces a session steadily, um, if not four. So fingers crossed that this keeps working and keeps going in the right direction of more milk as I go. Um, I know that it can take a little while to establish a better supply if it's been low for a while. So I'm just excited that we've made it as far as we have from about a third of an ounce to a full ounce at every session on each side. So that just makes me beyond excited. I'm hoping you guys find a lot of value in this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of these nursing updates and what I'm doing to increase the breast milk supply that I have for the twins. Um, if you're struggling, uh, let me know what's worked for you in the past. I'm always curious if someone was struggling and like started being a, a mega producer of breast milk, like how did you do it? I'm always scouring the internet for those videos because, you know, any little bit that helps, you know, helps me and uh, makes me really excited that we've been improving as we go. And that I know, like, I, I really believe if I keep at it, we could possibly get to four ounces per pump, which is my goal. So thank you guys for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to um, see more like this. And of course, I will make another follow-up video. So subscribe so you can see what happens. Bye.